All right, this is how we're going to practice our two beat groove, uh, similar to the groove in Billie Jean by Michael Jackson. And uh, to replicate this without drums, I'm going to just be using my practice pad. Uh, this one's two sided. There's a gray side that's sort of soft and more uh, bouncy, gives you more rebound with less effort. The black side uh, is a little bit louder and I have to use a little bit more wrist and finger control to get the same effect. Uh, much like the drum set being tuned uh, to different tensions between the floor tom or the tom tom, the cymbals, the snare drum, uh, I think it's good to be able to really um, rely on your fingers and wrists more so than the drums. So There's one way that I practice away from the drum kit is um, start and match grip here just like this and then simply flip the sticks over try to get about the same fulcrum only turning the stick around so that the tip actually hits my forearm and then i can practice this way one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and and so i'm still using wrists and fingers to do that uh, you may have noticed I can play some double stroke fills there as well but that's not really the point of this video or exercise so I'm going to actually, on the practice pad, use the butt end in my left hand for the back beat on two and four. I'll be using the tip of the stick for eighth notes, one and two and three and four and. Right foot is going to drop on one and three. Just gravity, let the foot just fall. Just lift it, one and two and three. So that's a great way to practice drum grooves if all you have is sticks or sticks in a practice pad. Um, can also just set it right here on my lap. Adjust my height a little bit. Just tap in the foot works too. Alright, I hope that helps you practice drum grooves without a drum set.